We are actually going to Lowe's now, but I think I got enough footage to make one video Home Depot and then the next video Lowe's. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and if you want to continue shopping with me. So yeah, next stop is Lowe's. So I came to the outdoor garden center here at Lowe's because they do have some plants indoors. Well, probably half the indoor plants are inside, but some of them are out here. So I'm going to show you the ones out here and then I'll kind of decide whether or not I'm going to do a voiceover or just play music for the other stuff. So I'll show you these plants first. So here on my right are some of the Desert Escape plants and they're actually really big and really nice very tall actually look very healthy like look at this one it's so so happy and they're all forty dollars whether or not you think that's affordable I'm not sure I'm not really into these plants but if you are definitely check them out they come in a nice big grow pots and are healthy and like I said just big in general these I'm actually excited to see so there are some Monstera Peru or now known as the green galaxy so these all look really healthy really happy like that leaf looks really big very nice and they're all pretty much in good condition maybe just some damage on the leaves but not much they are $30. You have the Silver Dragon as well. There's quite a few options for this guy. All these leaves look alright. Oh, this one has a new leaf. And then you have some back there as well. So quite a few options. Or, you know, plants to select from. And then this is the Baltic Blue, I think it's pronounced that way. And I've been excited to find this, but I don't know if I want it now. <laughs> it's kind of like one of those things, right? You want it when you can't find it, but when you find it, you're like, ah, oh, should I get it? And the newer growth does not have fenestrations. That's probably because, you know, they're kind of underneath here, don't have as much light. But some of the leaves are actually pretty big and this one looks really blue. So, you know, living up to its name, Baltic Blue. Should I get one? I don't know. And then here are some pineapple plants. They actually have a pineapple growing on them already. Like, what the heck? Look at that. That's so cool. They also have this Malena, Malayan, Malayan, sorry, <laughs> Malayan coconut plant, which I think is also so cool. I haven't seen these yet. Oh, look, there's more over there, the, the pineapple plant. How cool. I'm so happy I came here. This video, by the way, may be a little bit more choppy because people are coming in and out with their carts and I don't want it to be that loud in the video. Here are some big, I believe it's Dracenia, or it says Adenium plants. These are a lot thicker than Dracaena, I would say. But look at the colors. Very, very bright color. And they're huge for $30. I think that's a good deal. And then up here you have a bunch of Bird of Paradise. They are $43. I don't know about that price. I think it's a bit expensive for these plants because you can definitely find smaller ones for, you know, 20 bucks or something. But I mean, if you obviously want a bigger plant option, then you definitely want to go with something like this. 
I already have something in my cart. <laughs> I haven't showed the uh, video yet though. Um, so yeah, quite a few options here. I mean, that one's like really healthy and really big. This one's really healthy, but you can see that the previous leaves they cut off. So obviously you want to hunt for one that looks nice for, you know, $42. Yeah, I saw the pineapples. My husband's just looking at them now. Here are some alocasia, nice and full and big. Pretty lush, I would say, uh, for $50 though. Oh, I didn't show them that one yet. I'm gonna show you one that I was like shocked when I came in how big the leaf was, but anyways, alocasia here for $50. And I think you have at least four plants in the one pot, so I think that's a good deal and you could just split it up if you want. You can sell one or whatever. So these are the ones that I wanted to show you, or this one in particular. Like, look how freaking big that leaf is. Like, for size reference, like this is my hand. And then it's like at least triple the size of my hand. Like, look how big that leaf is. So, so nice. And then there's like a random ZZ Raven here, which feels really, really wet. <laughs> And this one is for $60 as well. You can see the new growth there. Sorry, it looks a little dark. But look at this leaf. What the heck? I mean, it's not the healthiest plant by all means, uh, but this leaf is, wow, super cool. And there's only one of them. <laughs> And here you have a bunch of peace lily for $30. They're actually pretty big and they are all in bloom for $30. I think that's a good deal. Um, I would love to have a big one like this, but <laughs> my Monstera, my alocasia, they're taking up a lot of space in the family room and in the den, I really don't have space for a plant this big. But I mean, maybe in the washroom, <laughs> but... Yeah, so if you're looking for something bigger, Lowe's may have a bigger option because you will see some smaller ones at Home Depot and some other Lowe's or Rona, but it looks like they have a lot of big options here. Wait, so it's saying here $80 though, and then down there it says 30, so maybe it's, okay, no, see? This one is $30, and it looks like that one, which is the big mama, is eighty dollars because that one's huge that one is a 12 inch pot and this one's probably like an eight inch ten inch maybe some big big options and then beside it we have the bird of paradise i would love a big one of this like mine is pretty big but it just doesn't get enough light Ooh, it looks like they have millie bugs Oh yeah, I'll probably have to let the person, the garden person know that there's mealybugs on that one because it's touching some of the other plants. This one, does it have mealybugs? No, it looks like just this one. I mean, that's a huge plant and it looks like they're 80 bucks. That's actually not bad, $80. Oh, we have some big monsteros over there, so stay tuned. But imagine just like a big, nice, full bird of paradise in your home. Look at that. That is so, so pretty. All right, I probably shouldn't be touching it that much though. <laughs> and for those that are looking for flowers, for your garden, for your planters and stuff outdoors, they definitely still have some in stock here. I'll leave the address in the description of this location. So just a heads up on that. They still have some little pepper plants as well. So a lot of people are saying that some of their Home Depots are basically like cleaned out, that there's nothing in it. So if you are in the area, then definitely check out this location. So now we're in the next aisle. You see a big bird of paradise, the Peace lilies I was talking about, the alocasia I was talking about. They have yucca cane plants as well. I'm actually impressed on the stock here considering it's already the end of August. They have here some big uh, Diffenbachias. 
very full, lush, and healthy. I'm not too sure about this one. But it looks pretty. Bless you, by the way. <laughs> but look at these money trees. I have not seen them this thick and braided. That's cool, eh, babe? My one of the first plants that my husband picked out was a money tree and there was a time where there was a money tree that was probably like four feet or five feet tall oh um, actually no probably five because it was basically my height or maybe a little less but look at these they're 50 50 dollars i would say that's not too bad like look at this one like wow that's so cool I've never seen it like that braided before. Maybe you have. <laughs> I'm just like amazed. But yeah, so quite a few options on this shelf here. And there's a few more options over here. You have your pineapple plant again. Pineapple. The Baltic blue. Should I get a Baltic blue? I just, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm sure it's easy care and uh, my Cebu Blue is doing really well. Should I get one of these? Like, look how full it is. What I don't like is that they tend to be cuttings, so it's almost like I'm starting from scratch. And they bumped up the price. Not that, you know, 10 or $5 should make a difference of me picking up a plant that I'd like, but... Like I said, now that it's accessible and I know they're here, I'm like, ah, uh, do I want to get it? And that's a really nice leaf too there. Look at all of these. So, so pretty. I love it. Oh, my battery's about to die. Look at that. Quite a few options on this side as well, which is good. And then some assortments in the front here. Ooh, the sun's bright again. Look at these, these are cool. Look at the little flowers. Those are pretty. So these are Monsteras. Now I am shook on the price. You're like, you're not gonna even believe how much they are. They are $150 what the heck when i went to calgary we went to a lowe's there um, but look at this i'm actually surprised that there's so many fenestrations so early in the plant though do you think this is a different variety like look at all those fenestrations that's kind of weird like they don't get that much light and they have so many fenestrations but for $150, that's expensive. I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, and of course, if you've seen my own Monstera, she's huge and she's thriving, um, but I can't imagine how much I could sell her for. I'm not saying I ever will, but $150, that is too expensive. On this side, I found a really, really different plant. Not too sure what it is, because it's not named but it's actually so beautiful. It has like this lighter color leaf and then I guess as it matures, it gets darker and the petioles are like a pinky color and they're circle and it grows like a squamiferum or like a certain type of philodendron like that. But this is actually so pretty. I'm actually curious to see what it is and it's only $16 so let me know if you have seen these around or if you know what it is because it doesn't have the name on it and I haven't seen it before there's quite a few of them too like not just one or two there's probably like 10 or 8 of them that's actually so pretty so this is a fun but crazy find. Like I think so because I've never seen this plant in my garden center. And this is $50. And it's $50. I don't know if I just said that, but it's the one with the fuzzy petio. Like look at that. 
I really, really want to get it, but it's $60 and it's in bad condition. So I'm probably going to ask if I can get a discount. Because look, like a lot of the leaves are burnt. So all it really needs is a nice spray down and, you know, look as good as new. Like this leaf probably was beautiful, but it got cut here or pulled here. So like, look at all of this. That's a lot of plants right there. So I don't know, should I get it? Should I not? I'll let you know because my battery's dying and I still have to think about this one. <laughs> but look, it has all these new growth points, like one, two, three, four, what else? Four, probably like four or five growth points. And yeah, so I don't know. We will see, I'm debating. Should I get it? They do have some options for hanging planters. So there's this variegated snake plant. And then there is, I think this is um, a fern. Is it, is it rabbit's foot fern? I don't know, I forget what it's called, but I don't know if you're able to see it. It's like getting dark again. But it's $19 and there's quite a few of them in stock. So, so there is a few options inside. I'm just gonna try to talk as much as I can. I have two batteries with me. I'm gonna swap them. So when this cuts out, I'll just switch it. So there are some big Sansevierias for 25. Then they get bigger for $80. And then this one is $80 as well. You have your ficus um, trees for, I believe it's $50. Sorry, I was trying to look for the price there. These guys are $40. Uh, Sansevieria, or uh, the ZZ plant I think I showed you for $40. These plants in here actually look pretty cool. They're like a different tropical plant and they have some blooms in it. And some other options here for 40 bucks. Not too sure what it is. <laughs> And I'm gonna turn you around. I'm gonna show you what's on this side. There's quite a few things here. There's this Gino plant, quite a few of them. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not too sure what the hype is about it. It's quite ugly. <laughs> I had to say it. I had to say it. I don't like the dark foliage. I don't like the circle. I don't like how it grows. Let me know if you're team Geo or not. And let's see here, there's some Calathea here for 12 bucks. There's this Calathea option and then there's this Calathea option. There's some of these guys. Oh, what are they called again? I forget. Glo uh, the Global Green Pothos, sorry. My head's like scattered now. So Global Green Pothos, this one's actually really full. Like if you see, that's like a really full plant, which is nice to see. And then you have some colored ones here. That one's really pretty. And then you have this one, nice color as well. You have your Trubi Trubii Moonlight since um, snake, oh my god. In my other video I said snake plant when I meant to say synapsis. <laughs> Um, the Syndapsis Trubii Moonlight for $30, so it does come with the cover pot. And then you do have some more Baltic Blues. Should I get one of these? I don't know if I should. They're so pretty and so full, but I don't know. I'm going to also think about this one as well, and I'll let you know when I get home whether or not I purchased it, because I do have to charge my batteries. There are some massive, massive Monstera Adansonii's. This is actually so beautiful. And these tend to do really well at the um, big box stores. Mine tends to yellow because I forget it and I also have to up pot it so it tends to dry out too much. And we have a few other options here for the Aglionema Silver Bay. I love mine. I bought mine at a Home Depot, I think, or at a big box store, anyways, and it's doing really well. It grows really fast. It's low maintenance. I highly recommend. I think it's so underrated. There are these Syngoniums as well. 
not too sure what kind of Syngonium. It says Tranquil Coastal Plant, <laughs> whatever that means. But it's uh, some form of Syngonium. I don't really like the color, it's pretty dull. And I like the more colorful Syngonium or the, just the green Syngoniums. And there's some other ferns here as well. This is the lemon button fern, so dainty. This would be nice for like a bathroom or something like that. I think that would look really cute hanging from a shelf or on the windowsill. And here they also have those anthurium for $19. And some cacti here with Costa Farms as well with the cover pot for $25. Some good finds, and then, I don't know if I even mentioned this one, I would probably just get this plant for the pot. Like, how cute is that pot? It's $12, but I love the pot. Look how cute it is. I'm all about Monstera, so. Definitely would recommend that one. I don't know if you're into the dragon fruit. I think this is a cacti, or a succulent of some sort. So that's only $12 if you want a cute little decorative piece for a table, a side table, or a bathroom. I think that would look really cute. You may have guessed already, but yes, I did bring this beautiful plant home. I'm so happy and I am happy with my decision of purchasing it. I ended up getting it for $50, which is even better because it was the last one and I did ask the lady, is there any type of discount I can receive because it looks like it's in rough shape. So she was super nice and gave me uh, $10 off, which was awesome. And yeah, so I'm so happy that I did bring it home. It's so, so beautiful. I was thinking about whether or not I should do a video on how I take care of this plant now that I have it here at home. So it's kind of like, you know, what to do after purchasing a plant from a big box store or you know big box plant rehab something like that so let me know if you made it this far if you would like to see something like that and i will definitely do that with this plant so give this video a thumbs up if you did like it subscribe if you haven't already oh i have paint on my hand because <laughs> i've been painting uh, but yeah thank you so much and i will see you soon